Hello everyone, it's Kay again. Um, I've got a little something here that I want to share with you. Um, primarily, this little thing is for Dear Betsy Doodle, or Noodle, or whatever else your lovely pet name is for this lovely lady here on YouTube. Um, a while ago, I sent her um, an, an origami envelope, which is what the, the title of the... Um, video was by Rachel Hart who I found was one of the first people to show how to do these envelopes. I believe it was part of a um, swap on Crafty Swappers UK and that's how they all sprang into fashion in the, the, the circle of crafters that, that I, um, I play with. Um, and I actually, by way of a swap or some such, maybe a participating in Dee's birthday, I, I'm sorry Dee, I don't recall now, um, it was last year sometime anyway, I sent one of these origami envelopes which basically just looks like this and then you decorate it to suit you to as many um, layers of decoration as you feel you want to use really you can really really go to town on them um, and you can either have a single flap which tucks down into the front like this which gives you two little pockets here and then the main part of your envelope here or you can have two flaps but you would need to seal or glue down the centre panel so that it kept its shape. So there are options within this design um, for you to utilise in, in any way that's appropriate to the project that you've decided to make it for. I've got this paper stack here and it's from the works ladies and I can't tell you it is absolutely gorgeous. For three pounds, I was staggered. I just happened to be in there with the film crew and looking around as you do, and came across this 12 by 12 paper stack called A Sense of Colour. I believe they will have it online if they still have it, you know, for sale. But it is double sided, 250 GSM, acid free, and the designs on it are really, really bright and cheerful. So I decided I would use a sheet from this to make my envelope with. And if I give you a quick flutter through on the card, on the different designs here, I think you'll agree they really are very, very pretty and would suit quite a few summertime springtime projects in their own right it's vibrant it's really well put together you can actually feel the quality in the in the card stock well they're calling it paper actually but at 250 gsm it, it would also lend itself to bag making and you know projects where you need a little bit of movement within the structure of the paper it's rather too thick to be considered a paper in, in my opinion but there we are so we'll get on with the fold for our D and anybody else that might be interested so you have your 12 by 12 piece of paper this, the one I showed you this is a one-sided sheet of paper which does complicate things because ideally you would want to line it so that you didn't have an expanse of white showing at all times hence the the um, preference for a double-sided card or paper choose whichever side you want to be in the four and then you begin to fold so i'm going to have the bolder of the patterns on the outside and I'm just going to fold from corner to corner. You do need to burnish, You do, and I've left my bone folder out in the other room, but you do need to have really, really strong creases to make this work. You then open it up and fold in half the other way. And again, you want to have something that isn't going to crease or get damaged so if you fold it 
inside and out. You're going to break up the fibres enough for no splits to occur in the paper. And this is actually very, very good quality, I have to say. So that goes like that. You now have a central cross here. And you take each one of your corners and you fold them. I've lost my centre because the colour is not lending itself to being very well looked at. But you fold your corners in on the good side of the card. Oh, that's not right the card side that's going to be facing outward you really do need to have very very good creasing then you fold in all the corners in the same manner lining them up as best you can so that they form a smaller square and that's the easiest way. If, if you make those finger popping um, paper little egg cup things when you were at school, I can't remember what they were called, then this is an absolute doddle for you because it really is this easy and this straightforward. Try and get all your edges together so that you don't see any of the underneath colour showing through. And having got to that stage, you then turn your work over so you've got the flaps on the, t on the surface away from you. And you simply fold corner to corner again, very, very carefully, and crease along the bottom. And there is your envelope. Now, as I said, you can either glue these two together with whatever uh, wet glue or a double-sided tape, but something that's going to be durable because you don't want it separating. And then those two fold over. You might have to do a wee bit of trimming just to make sure that there is a definition in the flap like that. So then you've got your two pockets on one side to put tags or some such in and this then becomes your um, main envelope or as I said you can have the two opened like that, it's entirely up to you but you would then need to put some adhesive to keep these two bits together to keep the integrity of the envelope shape and then to tie it off what you do is bring ribbon or um, ribbon or nice. no ribbon or cord. no cord no <laughs> I've swallowed my words the tape stuff um, American seam binding that's the one I knew I'd get there eventually um, you would just starting in this corner here with a tail long enough to tie a bow bring it up over the two areas down to the other side and you would have a tie off in this vicinity you can as I say really dress it up with lace with ribbons with lots and lots of bling you could use die cuts you could use anything you wanted to decorate the envelope and it is as easy as that absolutely straightforward I don't know I mean I, I, by choice I think I would probably stick the two flaps together and and have one area where I could just put little bits and pieces in and then this area for the main component of the gift I don't know it would be entirely up to you and the person that you were actually making this lovely little gift for but I hope that helps it really is very very straightforward and everything comes down to the decorating of the envelope once it's all done so I hope as I say that that has shown you how easy it is to put this together and all you need is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper to make it possible paper or a light card thank you for watching everyone take care bye bye